Let's play. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Charlie Savage, and today I missed the scout fly box. That's kind of crazy. Uh, somehow, some way. But oh my god, I'd always been going through here to like try to do that. That's hilarious. Wait, no, that's what I did. Never mind. I'm fucking stupid, guys. That's cool. But, uh, but yeah, we're gonna pay this guy to move some stuff for us. <laughs> <sighs> Anywho, let's talk to him. <laughs> just, just don't do a fucking intro. I thought that's one off. of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy. Oh sure, I was tough once. I love this Maybe guy. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the Boulder bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause you kill oh, killing me. After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30 ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius, devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder. I love that Kara's just way. over there. But alas, he disappeared. She's not supposed to be yet. A chance to turn. So we're supposed to talk to him real fast. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But uh, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh sure, and seal my doom. Seal my doom. I love him. He's so dramatic. All right, fine. Bring me ninety precursor orbs, and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. You make that deal? That's a damn good deal. I'd make that deal. I'll make that deal. How about you, you bitch? You make that deal? I'd make that deal. I don't blame you. Damn good deal. Wonderful. You brought me the precursor orbs. All right. I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved with that creature again. But then he gives us a power cell and it's like not really addressed. Like, like, it's kind of weird that they didn't just throw one of them on a pontoon. But yeah. Otherwise, someone would just grab it right? like, the The way power cells are devised in this game is honestly really fun. Also, the fact they just kind of like their batteries, but they're just totally absent from Jack 2 and 3. The precursor orbs are still around, and they're much more rare. And I'm like, I don't. It's so funny. It's so confusing. Also, you think when Jack went to the future, do you think he'd take a bunch of precursor orbs with him? Like, do you think those were his and they, like, got spread around by, like, Crimson Guard or some shit? But anyway, that should be everything here for the most part. We're gonna have the other seven more. But we have more than 240, so let's go talk to the big talking head. And then we'll start our disgusting playthrough of the... One of the rougher levels in this game, which is buggy. I love it, but it's also light, like for it has I've had playthroughs where I do that in like 20 you. minutes. And I've had playthroughs where it takes like an hour. So orbs for each power that one's all of it. That's the same good power cell yeah. for your quest. A power cell. For your sacrifice, I offer you. A I think power you buy cell. like a, all the ones at the end if you just don't but it, use it. You know, all like the, me words talk are hard. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, you can go talk to the miners whose name is the Hothead and the Bird Brain. I don't remember their. One's name's Gordy, and I think the other one's name is Willard. Willard. Boop, 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 boop. I always keep checking to see if I got the box or not. 
but yeah. Should be this one right here, and there's the one right there in the swamp. There we go. And there's two there, there's two there, there's one here. And there's two. There we go, there's seven. And we could go and just do the boss, but we're gonna do <clears throat> Boggy Swamp in our playthrough because I want 100%. Gotcha, bitch! Jesus! That scared the hell out of me. I like barely touched the water. That was the crazy part. It just went for it. I was like, dang. Uh oh, it's gonna eat me again. There was no warning last time. Like, that was wild. I don't think I'd ever had it happen like that. Ever. Like, I spent no time in the water and it just got me. Like, I don't think it's supposed to do that ever. Boggy swamp. Doo doo doo. There we go. Powered up with yellow eco. You're a Not entirely sure why they give me that much, but especially when you can just do this. I don't think you're supposed to know that you can do that, but boy does it make it easier. Ooh, I can smash them. Oh lord, that might interrupt my play because... Honestly, I hope not though. He's out here so like, Chicken or turkey? Anyway. It is like... It's not like a wild thing. But yeah, my episode with this, because this level is frustrating, is talking about pet peeve. And... You know, kind of seems like a hard thing to start with someone just outright asking. You don't know your pet peeve until you experience it. <clears throat> but I tried to make some more of the list. One that really annoys me is like at work, or just really in general in public when I just have AirPods in and then like someone tries to talk to me about something that's really not important. And it's like I am like clearly like in taking media or like I'm listening to music or I'm like watching the video. And they're just like trying to tell me about like their secrets, and I'm just like I'm not having. Like, I don't. I'm sorry. You're a nice person, but I really don't care about your, your sandwich that you had two hours ago. I just don't. I, I like Wendy's too. It, you need to chill. Like that. That's one that, and it's different, like, oh, I'll, I'll make small talk with like, my coworkers and stuff, but it's like, when I'm like literally like in the middle of like watching something, or like listening to something, like, it's very, I just don't think it's like, respectful. It's like, it's very apparent that I'm doing something. And it's like, did you see I spend most. Only three oh, that's more not true. I spend most of my day with headphones on, good stuff. Where I'm just like, you know, there's like, there's other times too. Like, try and talk to me. Or like, like I scan papers. Like, I'm packing up the computer most of the time. So, like, really couldn't just. I think that's all of them, right? I've done this playthrough multiple times, but that's the only thing left, and I'm like, oh my god. But also, this level is like the reason why I'm like, this game needs a map. Yeah. 
got that one done already. So we can just go yeet right on through here. Another thing that bothers me is like my parents mostly do this, but like whenever you're in a room and someone just shuts the door, but not all the way, just they leave it slightly open. It's like, oh, especially when it's like I'm laying in bed or I'm like doing something, and they just leave it cracked. Like, I have to get up and do that. There we go. Wow! Only two more tethers. Ta da! But it's like, wow, you really are gonna make me do that. Get up. It's like that joke where, like, in that 70s show where it's like, I really. You made me lean forward and move slightly to the left for that. That's like how I feel. I'm like, oh, you nearly And that's why it's cut deep and not like yeah, hey. But yeah, yeah, I was talking about the last video. Fucking comments. Uh, I was talking about maximum football and how it was like, being, like this thirty dollar game is actually very bad. Don't buy it. But also had to make the developers to do something interesting that would be actually like hundred. Like, I'll, I'll stand by that. But the ones I hate the most is like the people who like fucking get mad about uh, the stupid videos I make with like the meme reactions. I've done those. You know, you do. Um, but like about Mario Kart. <laughs> and they're just like, bro, you gave that. that Dude, that track's just okay. Or it's like, those, well, those ones are fine. But some of the people are like, yo, that track fucking sucks. I hate this entire DLC. I'm like, okay. Don't buy it! Like, I'm sorry you bought it. Listen, I wanted to just talk about why I tired of doing fucking tour tracks. You're out here trying to tell me that, like, oh, Maple Treeway is just, like, not fun. And I'm, like, 12. And I also, like, didn't grow up with you. I'm like, okay. Like, that's fine. But, like, it's also just fun. Or people are like, yo, this it sucks because they got rid of the net. I'm like, I can't, I can't with y'all. Can we just like not enjoy anything? It's an ambush, Jack. Classic. Look out, Jack! It's an ambush. But it's just like those comment, those comments are like a pet peeve because I'm like, but what I hate more than the comments, I think the comments are honestly kind of fine. They're, if not just somewhat annoying. But what I do hate is the fucking. The way YouTube does it is like. Lord. How? Okay, that one. You Could you even get mad at me? Jesus. Bro, go around. Uh, I'm trying to like not run into these. <laughs> the ones that really, really are like what's actually annoying is that YouTube is like, oh, you haven't responded to this comment. I'm like, yeah, because it's fucking stupid. I'm not gonna respond to every comment. Name one YouTuber who fucking responds to every comment if they're like shit. Like, I'm all for reading comments. I love reading comments. I think they can often provide good and important feedback that can be better in the long run. However, I am not gonna sit here and fucking tell you <laughs> that I need to respond to every comment on a fucking YouTube short because it did well. People are just like, I fucking hate this Mario Kart deal. It's like, okay, dude. Good for you. I love that effect. But you know what I mean? It's like, what do you want me to do about this? 
Because clearly the answer is nothing. Like, they don't really want to respond. I don't want to give it one, but I can't, like, just slide it away on YouTube. I'm like, what the fuck? It's not act like you shouldn't be able to just be, like, not interested. But, like, if you do it, it's like, do you want to delete or hide the comment? I'm like, you mean, like, from the video or from my mailbox? Like, I would like to clear out, like, the mailbox, but I don't want to, like, be like, oh, bad comment, I delete. That's barely hanging like, unless a comment's That's really hateful, or if you're just, like, saying, like, the 60th time of a joke. Because, like, I'm fine with rewarding, like, the first person that makes a joke, but, like, when there's just 30 comments that say the same thing, I'm like, just upvote and move along, dude. Like, be fucking little original. Damn. And I get it. I've been there. I'm I'm oftentimes the person who makes the fucking stupid comment. But I'm just like, damn. Yeah, of course I, I There's like when I did the broadcast boys video and then like all the people are like, bro thinks he's this guy and I'm like it, I literally put his name in the description. I don't know, like, what you want from me, dude. Where I was like, I did the Sly Cooper one, and that one blew up. And I did a Daxter one. I think I'm going to repost it up a few times until it does better. Because that video does not get the hits I think it deserves. I think the Daxter one's pretty fucking solid. But it's also, like, eh. The Sly Cooper one, I definitely took my time to, like, make sure. That, the, that was a really weird thing that just happened. But I'll be like, oh, you think you're so over I was like, I was like, yeah, because motherfucker's not gonna do one about fucking Sly Cooper or Daxter ever. But he did one about Aang, and he's like, then doing like more cartoon ones. I'm like, he fucking might start. He might, because people are just kind of jacking his shit. And I was one of them, to be fair. But, you know. I, what can I say? The broadcast voice format's pretty fucking goaded. And they're obviously, like, really great and influential. I was just like, he'll never make this, so I'm going to. And it's like, yeah. Like, I don't think about it that way. Like, a terrible, cr terribly creative way. Where I'm just like, this is something that I want that like, contributes to like, both things. Or, like, communities that I like. But it's like, oh, so it, I feel like it's a similar thing to like, oh, I want to write a parody song and you're very inspired by like a weird album. Not like the same one, but like, I feel like it goes like, you get to a point where like, you're kind of like, oh, I mean, if this person does this, I would like to do that sort of deal, so. Not working out. I don't. Not really working out. I feel like I landed on that. Uh, would you agree? I feel like I did. Just they get to kill this frog again, or not? I think the frog lurker is underrated. TVH. Did I make this jump? I guess we'll never know. Wow! How? What are the odds? Okay. What is going on that I am not just killing things? Like I get that you gotta like light tap it, but I feel like it's just going through entirely. And I'm like, how am I supposed to even? 
They definitely planned something here by putting this dock here. Or the one that's like, I think there's another one right over there. Like, I feel like it was definitely, they thought about doing something. And we're like, yeah, let's, let's skip it. We're, we're set. So they just reused the asset. Like, even if it was just like an island somewhere else out there, or like, I feel like they definitely. I mean, they thought about enough about it to like at least render something in the background of it. Like, now, get ready for the most frustrating mission in this game. Howdy, my friends. Enjoy my beautiful swamp. I own these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank Ooh. in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? What's a bathtub? problems now. Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on, and scaring away my pet hip hog, Parley. My hip hog, Parley. I love this guy. Age. I've been putting out his favorite snack. Those ornery swamp rats keep stealing them. That's annoying that you need Those all of them. <laughs> it would be fine if it was like, don't let them get all of them. Back. That would be perfectly fine. Will you help me out? But it's like, Good. you're stuck in this Those fucking terrible first person shoot shooting mode. And it's just really funny. It's always, like, there's just that one part where, like, the passing is crazy. Look at him. Look at him. He's back. Look at his hip hop. And then you actually, the bar is named after that animal in, um, Jack 2. It's like, a fun thing I didn't realize until just this moment. Because it's the hip hop bar, which I mentioned in my fucking Daxter video. No, it's like then they rename it the Naughty Otsla. It was like they renamed it after me. It's one hell of a regular was the line. But yeah. I need yellow. Yeah, like same with this one. But I feel like they at least are planned on rendering like an island all the way out there. Like it's kinda it's really weird. That you could just be like standing here and there's just nothing. Like just this flat horizon. That's what they do a lot that I love in Jack That's really nice. Where it's like you look out and there's almost always something on the horizon. And I think this level is like a unique issue of the game. But it also provides a sense of like, oh fuck, what's the But it's like, you never really know. <laughs> 
And I feel like island is always like a cool thing just to add in, even if you, you never see it. It makes the players kind of think about the larger aspect of the world that you're building. Like, I think that's just kind of the uh, there we go. Got rid of that Led Zeppelin. I love that we stopped them from doing stuff and they still end up with the precursor robot. You can just see it throughout. Good work, Jack. Your uncle would be proud. That was a giant arm for Your the uncle will be robot. proud? I've never seen one in such good condition. I can't imagine what the workers wanted with it. But we I guess sure that answers didn't that. Want them to get it. If you keep this success up, nah, you'll still fall short of hero. But keep trying. It's endearing. There's still one more. There's still one more boss. There's just six left. Well, I hope they're over here. Oh, well, I mean, there's three. There's another three. There should be everything. Yeah, see, like, probably use one. It could be good. It could be bad. It could be rough. Like, if you don't know where those six are, like, you're gonna have a hard time. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Let me know what are some of your pet peeves in the comments below. I don't know. Probably just me. I'm probably annoying. I mean, certainly for someone. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. You absolute gamers.